the UPS man brought me something new today. It is the Blackmagic Video Assist 4K. Blackmagic introduced it at NEB last week and they said it was available now. So I ordered it from Adorama and this is an unboxing of the Video Assist. Here's the welcome. And in the welcome, they have two SD cards. One is software and the manual. The other is DaVinci Resolve, which is the free version of DaVinci Resolve. And this is what's in the box. The shiny new Blackmagic Assist. And the reason I went for the Assist over some of the other competitors is that this is a 1080p monitor. It has SD cards, two slots, headphone jack, and on the other side, XLR jacks, SDI jacks, HDMI jacks. And this will work with my GH4 in 10-bit 4 to 2 ProRes in four flavors, HQ, regular ProRes, LT and proxy quarter 20 jacks on the top and bottom for mounting on rigs and tripods and variety of things like that. It also comes with a power supply and voltage adapters for worldwide. This is the power supply and these are the voltage adapters. Being here in America, I will put on the American one, a little stand. So it will sit up and now hook up the GH4 to the Black Magic. The power for the Black Magic is on the side right here. And it came on right away. It's not seeing my source, but then I may have it on the out instead of the in. Let's try that. Okay, that was it. The bottom is your input. The next one is the output. So we'll leave it about like that so you can see what it's shooting. You can see the GH4 sees it as well. And uh, I haven't set up anything, but I'm seeing audio here because so that's coming from the GH4, the audio. It's not coming from the jacks because I have not hooked them up. So there we are. It came directly as ProRes HQ. And it's showing 1080i at 59 frames a second. That is certainly not what I want. So I have to go to the GH4 and tell it what I want. And so let's see what happens if I change the format from AVC over to MOV. See what it, oh, there we go, 1080p. Now we're seeing the full resolution of the monitor at the top of the screen. It says 1080p 5994 ProRes HQ timecode trigger record source, which is HDMI, and card, no card, because I have not put a card in yet. See, there's a zoom function right here. See, that's really nice, the zoom function. I don't normally record at 59.94. Most of the projects I do are 1080p at 30p or 29.97. 
It turns out in the GH4, you can change the quality and frame rate of the HDMI output. So here's 4K record. What I want to go to is HDMI record output on the GH4. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the display on so you can see it on the monitor as well. And if you go to the bottom of it, it has 1080p, 30p set. Right now it's at 60p. If I go to 30p like so and go back up, it should change when I go out. And you can see the screen went blank and now it's 2997. And that's what we want. Also in this menu, you can change the bit mode from 8-bit to 10-bit. And in 10-bit mode, I can no longer hit record on the GH4. It says down here, this operation is disabled because the H current output. So now in 10-bit mode, I can hit this button as much as I want to, it's not going to record because you can't do that to a SD card in the camera. The next thing I'm going to do is actually put a card into the Blackmagic. You put it in backwards with the label side backwards, like so. It pops in. Now I have a record light on the Blackmagic. You can see it right here. If I tap on it, it starts recording. Tap on it again, it stops. And it gives me the ability to play it back. And there's the playback. I can go back and forwards and backwards on that clip. And I hit stop and it will put itself back into record mode. Right now we're doing it at 1080p. And the card says ready. And that was the same card that went in my GH4. We'll see how this card does with 1080p HQ. So far so good. Again, 15 minutes. So it looks like the 720p and the 1080p are about the same file sizes in HQ. All right, now let's go back to standard ProRes. And this is on a Hoodman card, raw steel card, a 32 gig card. And this is a U1 card not a U3, UH1, and it's recording just fine. So I do have cards that do work. Let's go to... L. What I'm finding though, there's ProRes LT, record. What I'm finding with this unit is for the highest qualities, it needs incredibly fast card, faster card than I have right now. And the fastest card that I know of that I have right now is this 100X, 150 megabit second Lexar Professional card at 64 gigabytes. As you can see, it has no problem with LT at standard 1080p on this monitor. And here's ProRes Proxy. ProRes Proxy recording at 1080p at 30p. You have not seen me do a lot of tests at 24p because I don't use 24p a lot for the work that I do. So I'm primarily interested in the 30ps. I did a little bit of 24p testing. In my next report, I will give you a lot more 
information on cards and compatibility and other aspects of this monitor, but this should do it for right now. It works with my cards, most of them, not all of them. And it works at most resolutions, not all of them. So it's a very interesting little device that Blackmagic has created here. As always, tune in to frugalfilmmakers.com for more information on products that are out there for us to use as filmmakers.